Saturday marks five months since the Pulse nightclub shooting. This morning, we're hearing how the families of those victims are doing. Back on June 12th, Omar Mateen opened fire inside the club, killing 49 people and injuring more than 50 others. And now family members of the people killed are coming together to deal with their loss. They meet once a week to share memories of their children and to support one another. This has been a gift, a special gift sent from God. It's been a safe heaven. We understand each other. We cry. We go through the same emotions, you know, day by day. When we get together, we talked about it. And when we start talking about it, we're doing the same thing. The group meets every Thursday. Current members say that they're hoping to embrace more grieving family members to get them the help they need. Phil? The Orange County Sheriff's Office has released more body camera footage from that tragic shooting. That footage has been heavily edited, though, to avoid showing bodies. It shows officers searching inside the club, running around the perimeter, and laying out stretchers. A reporter at our sister station, WFTV, talked to a woman whose daughter was killed in that shooting about the release, and she was visibly upset. A judge has ordered the release of all the 911 calls made from inside the Pulse nightclub. Action News Jax told you when the city of Orlando refused to release roughly 200 calls, saying they depict suffering and should not be made public. On Wednesday, a judge ruled that audio made after 2 a.m. will be released now. The city said they will abide by the ruling once they redact the names and personal information of the callers.